uh, this is Sanjit Mitra, and uh, along with me is Professor Sanjeev Durandar. We both uh, work at uh, Ayuka, the Inter-University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics in Pune. Uh, we just came up with a book on, gravity, uh, on general relativity and gravitational waves. This book uh, uh, is, to, uh, is an introductory book on these subjects, and we'll uh, tell you more about it. The, the thing is that there are several books on these subjects uh, in the market. Uh, but then why did we write another book? Uh, so uh, when we, uh, so I, I, we started teaching this course, we have been teaching this course for a long time. Uh, so when I uh, started teaching in uh, Ayuka and Pune University about 10 years back, I realized that there are no single textbook which I could follow. There are multiple books which we had to follow to cater to the students because students cannot go through all the books. It will take very long time for them to understand the subject and things will get complicated. So I started preparing some lecture notes, uh, basically by going through different books and so on. But then I realized uh, Professor Sanjeev Durandar, who has been teaching this course for decades, also has several interesting ways to teach the course. And he has a lot of experience. And he was also uh, recently uh, I retired from Ayuka, but even though he was working uh, full time uh, after retirement, and he could, uh, we could work on the book to make it really nice. And then, you know, uh, for, for a long time, uh, this people have been busy and we could not do, uh, write these things. So this was a good opportunity to for us to uh, look at it. And then uh, eventually uh, we started writing it but then it all got slowed down because gravitational waves got detected. And, but then uh, after a while, after several years, now we have managed to finish the book. And Sanjeev will tell you uh, more about his experience and the, the, the kind of uh, people he have taught and, and so on. Okay. So, yeah, so I am Sanjeev Durandar. And uh, so I'm the, one of the authors of this book. Uh, the thing is that uh, actually I started teaching and put together things right about something like 1987. That's like 35 years ago. And the students who have taught now they are, have come near close to retirement actually. So, <laughs> so it is, at that time in 87, it so happened that uh, TIFR, and Pune University had a program of uh, uh, the TIFR is to select students and put them through the master's course of, uh, at the physics department. But in physics department, there was no course on relativity or uh, general relativity or even special relativity was sort of taught uh, as a tool to electrodynamics or something like that. So many of the students, uh, they uh, requested me that I should teach them some general relativity. And this is how it started. So after all their classes used to end at 5.30 or something in the evening, I used to start my lectures. 5.30 to 7, I used to give the lecture. And I gave something like 15 lectures. And many of the things in the book, or several of the beginnings, or the introduction part of the book, contains those particular uh, things where I try to introduce how one could talk to the students who have very little knowledge uh, of actually of special relativity or uh, uh, things like that. So one act, so I sort of knew what the students knew. And, and from that, one had to build the course. So I had to go, I, mean, I had to actually what is called impedance matching. That is what it's called. I had to do with the students. And that's where the thing, the course started. So for example, there are uh, things in the book like the covariant, covariant and contravariant vectors, the components of these vectors, how they are related through the metric. See, that is uh, that geometrical diagram dates back to 1987. Also, the tra parallel transport, the parallel transport of a vector on a sphere, and uh, how you can do this with origami. Take a cone and fit it on the sphere and draw vectors 
all this thing came through came i mean as an idea during that time in 1987 and uh, so what i want to say is that some of these things date right back to uh, 35 years ago and those are there in the book so yeah i mean the, the thing is that even though they are 35 years old that does not mean there have been books in between which actually covered those ideas yeah and that is where the gap was and we thought that you know those are the ways the, the subject has not changed of course yeah and students and still learn through the same kind of academic process the, the process has changed but the amount of mathematics they know by the time they come to msc and so on that has not changed dramatically that's right and that is where this book can serve uh, its purpose uh, so for example students who come to uh, 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 take this general relativity course say uh, as a special paper in uh, in their uh, msc physics course uh, we assume uh, their knowledge especially in the indian context and the book builds up from there mm. the book basically right. self content that yes. is they don't have to follow any other book uh, from where it starts and so that makes life very easy if they miss any class for example or so on uh, and the instructor is following that book then they can easily catch up from the book so that was the purpose of the book yeah so uh, one of the things which i want to say is about things like uh, introducing a fine connection so many several of the books either uh, uh, you uh, i mean uh, introduce it uh, without any background or anything like that or they give a very uh, uh, formal way of introducing this uh, a fine connection in a very general way the, now the problem with going to that amount of generality is that sometimes you lose, lose you lose not sometimes you lose insight into riemannian parallel transport and that is what is required for general relativity that it is done through cartesian systems and cartesian systems are defined through the metric and so that's how the affine connection gets connected to the metric and it becomes a metric affine connection but all this is brought out in a very simple way with simple examples which are there given there and in a way with very simple arguments and so it makes it very natural that the, so the affine connection has been introduced in this book in a very natural way you know, for riemannian parallel transport in fact this is the way i learned also how to do this thing on my own actually so even though we we emphasized on the basic basics so much like we clearly uh, sketched the fundamental so that people can understand it uh, properly especially the students or the newcomers in the field we managed to keep the book pretty concise it is basically little more than 200 pages and it will be easy to cover uh, basically from cover to cover uh, in a in a course even though the the first parts would be more relevant for students studying general relativity mm -hmm. while the second part on gravitational waves and data analysis will be more relevant for uh, for researchers who are just entering the field and they don't they want to uh, get a uh, glimpse of the subject or an introduction to the subject from which they can learn uh, uh, go further and this is only the this is a only book in our knowledge which actually covers the mathematical fund fundamentals of gravitational wave data analysis which uh, sanjeev thurandar has pioneered over uh, three decades or so yeah so what i would like to say is that this is perhaps the first book or at least at uh, at this point of time which uh, which has data analysis also gravitational wave data analysis in it uh, which which is there also added to the to the introduction to general relativity and also there is uh, things like uh, the definition of a black hole as uh, it is, i have not seen this kind of uh, definition in uh, many books or maybe a single one book where uh, it is uh, the uh, the definition of a black hole or what is a black hole in fact is it's a, it's in fact a compact null surface or a closed null surface such things uh, which was which were the things introduced by uh, c v vishweshwara actually in his in his paper this is in fact a very apt definition for a black hole right so one way membrane okay 
So that is brought out mathematically and in a very uh, rigorous way or in a very uh, precise way by using null surfaces and so on. So this is there in our book, apart from the other things, like as I mentioned, data analysis and also uh, a very uh, natural way of introducing uh, parallel transport. Yeah, so, and uh, the thing is that, uh, you know, many people who are coming to, let's say, to work on LIGO India, which is going to be a great uh, mega project in, on Indian soil, uh, they may not want to, uh, you know, they, they, you don't need to know everything about gravitational waves in order to uh, contribute to the project. But then you may want to know the basics to a, to a level that you start appreciating the subject more than just a regular work. And there, all these intricacies, if people start appreciating, understanding, then it would make, their, uh, make them happier. That is our hope. And uh, we would uh, uh, hopefully uh, get a lot of feedback. Uh, a lot of our colleagues have, uh, several of our colleagues have already uh, uh, told us about uh, appreciated the book and told us that they they may be using it for their uh, courses and that way we will probably get uh, more feedback and maybe we will uh, incorporate those uh, in a future edition <laughs>